let's begin Shalom Rastafari. Let's begin this off. There's a message. There's a message in here somewhere. The commentator said. So let's first go to the word and let's look up Ethiopian, right? The Ethiopian, right? Uh, Ethiopian. Let's say Ethiopians, right? And let's put sword, right? Because what's the sword? What's the sword of God, right? The sword of God is the word of God. So let's go here. No doubt you've seen this verse before. Maybe the Hebrew Israelite brothers have pointed this verse out to you. Right? You see this right here? It says, um, it says, Ye Ethiopians also, ye shall be what slain by my sword. Right? Now, the sword of God is the word of God. You should be all familiar with that, right? Ethiopians and the sword. Now, some of, it, some of us didn't like when the Hebrew Israelites would point this out, but there's a deeper reason. Something has been forsaken, something has been left behind. Now, although everybody, all the Ethiopians are celebrating, you know, because um, this uh, sister, she's a sister, but she's a lost sister right here. Now, check out some of this right here. This is a celebration video. We're going to try to go through just this, like, kind of quickly right here. All right, so some, some of the stills from this whole um, London... Okay. See that right there? Okay. Y'all know the image, right? Don't you know the image? Don't you know who this is? Some will say, oh, that's Virgin Mary. Nope. You know, wrong color, wrong kind. Yes, it has to do with race. You know what I'm saying? It's racist for them to whitewash the image of the black mother, but it's even more corrupt, you know what I'm saying, not to tell you who this really is. You gotta check out this video right here. The Secret Jesuit Wars in Ethiopia. He warns you about it. The Virgo Mary Ashtaro, right? Caesar Borgia's or Caesar Borgia's sister. Um, Lucrezia, or Lucretia, if you, you know, you see Lucretia right here. See her name? This is who that is. That is not the Virgin Mary. That's a historical person, right? A historical person circa mm, 1400s, 1500s, around that time, you know, the 15th century. That's this woman right here. Now, who is she? That's a very good question if you ask. You can look up Lucretia. Look, look, look up Lucretia Borgia, right? Just take that name down, Lucretia Borgia. But most people, when they see this, right, they will look at it and say, oh, that's Mary, right? That's Mary right here. But if you just go look up the truth, you'll find the truth for yourself. Now, this was, this was a father right here, you know. Uh, it was a pope, a Roman pope. Now, you know the history of the pope and the Jesuits in Ethiopia, right? This is another picture of Lucretia right here. I think that's the Virgin Mary right there. All right? No, that's not the Virgin Mary. That's this woman right here. Notice how similar these two women are. Look at the facial features. Study the pictures. Study the pictures as well. So now, from her image, right, and she's the sister of Caesar Borgia. Who is Caesar Borgia? Let's see if we can grab that picture right here. If you can hold this up for the people then. Hold this up for the people. Let, let, let's get, let that be light. All right, let that be. There we go. That's Caesar Borgia's, right? He says, my name is, right, my name is Cesare or Caesar Borgia or Borgia is the Borg. This is him. That's, that's actually him right there, right? And he, right, was the sister of I mean, he was the brother. This is his sister right here. So he poses, right? Bring him back in again. He poses, right? He poses as the image of the other Jesus, right? That the Bible warned us about, the other Jesus, where they said they would um, create an image, you know, the Antichrist, right? Caesar Borgia, 1492, right? So he becomes, he becomes your Jesus, right? And she becomes, right, she right here becomes your 
Virgin Mary. Yeah, Virgin Mary. But it goes deeper than that. Come on, let's go to some of the other clips right here. All right, let's go to this page. Let's bring up this page right here. Lucrezia. Now, you think it's just I and I saying this? You can look up Lucrezia and Caesar Borgias. Lucrezia, the life of who? Caesar Borgias. Is that Caesar Borgias or is that his sister? It's kind of hard to tell. Some some gender bending is going on somewhere. But that, but it was a freaky family. Don't don't take my word for it. You know, saying you just look it up. Now notice what it says right here. It says um, Lucrezia Borgia, presumably with her son uh, Rodrigo, Rodrigo as Saint Mary with the child Jesus Christ. Well, it says 1500, 1501, 1500, 1501. So when we show you uh, Caesar Borgia's show you her brother. Her brother becomes Jesus. That's her brother right there. Her brother is Jesus. Right? And she right there becomes Mary. See what it says right there? Lucretia Borgia or Borgia presumably. That means when they presume it and you ask ask, you ask whom it. You ask, you ask whom you assume it. Right? You know it says don't assume. So people assume this is this is Mary. Right? This is Mary, right? But actually it's Lucrezia Borgia, presumably with her son Rodrigo, as Saint Mary. She's starring as Saint Starring, Ashtarothing, as Saint Mary with the child Jesus Christ. Not the real Jesus Christ now. Now what's so interesting if you click on this, right? Let's click on this right here. Okay, we'll get back to him. They don't want to show you the picture up here, but if we, we notice this over here. It's interesting. Who are the images of Jesus and Mary? Who are the images of Jesus? Machiavelli. You see Machiavelli? Cesare and Lucrezia. Cesare as Jesus, you know, the, the grown Jesus, you know, the man Jesus, you know, or, or you know, the white, blonde hair, blue eyed. You see, when they whitewash the images, the iconoclast say, it's all history, historical. If you don't know history, they say, if, you, if you're ignorant of history, you're in danger of what? Repeating history. But like in school, every time you have to learn a lesson over again, what happens? You pay a higher, right? You pay a higher price. Let's see if we can click off of this right here and, 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 and go to... Um, Let's see if we can go into this page, right? Now, notice it's going to tell you about the sins of the house of Borgia. But they're posing as, the, 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 they are the who behind your modern Jesus and Mary. Lucrezia and, or Cesare, Cesare and Lucrezia. Now, this is, this is on the internet. You can check this out, right? A book review, a book review of the sins of the house of Borgia by somebody named Sarah Bauer. Now, let's just notice this right here for a moment, right? It says, the interest in the notorious, the notorious B-I-G, the notorious Borgia, or Borgia. Remember the Borg from Star Wars and stuff? I mean, Star Trek, remember that Borg? It has everybody believe in a lie, right? Everybody living, conforming to this, right? As simulate, because remember, it's presumptuously, right? Has risen has risen since the premiere of the Showtime drama, The Borgias, or The Borgias. More historical fiction novels have been focusing on Pope Alexander VI. We've been telling you about Pope Alexander VI, because his son, let me just show the people again in, just, uh, in case he just came in. This is his son right here, right? That's his son right there. Now, his son basically poses now as your Jesus. But he tells you right here in this DVD that his name is Caesar Borgias. You understand? Caesar Borgia. It's an exposed DVD. you got to get a copy of this, all right? Check it out, you know, on the internet, you know, or go to our website. Now, okay, Pope Alexander VI and his cunning, well, they're very cunning. I mean, to pose as Jesus Christ and then to have some, um, 
you know, then to have some careless Ethiopians doing this over here. Let's see if we can show you that again, just so that you don't, you know, you don't forget it. Okay, remember that's that's Lucrezia. You understand? The secret Jesuit wars in Ethiopia. Virgo Mary, Ashtaro. Remember Ashtaro, Cesare Borgia's sister. This is her right there. Now let's see if we can see uh, Defar, Meseret Defar the foundation of audacity, right? That's the same, that's, that's, that's Roderigo. You said it's Jesus Christ, that's Roderigo. We just showed you the evidence. We know Ethiopia is a poor country and, you know, they're just coming out of, you know, thousands of years of, you know, black tradition and stuff, and now they're getting into the modern world. So it's taking them a little while, perhaps, to catch up. But still, there's no excuse for this. Right? There's no excuse. They say ignorance of the law is no excuse, right? But let's go on a little bit more. Let's see some of the other stills. Does she look happy? Does, does she really look happy? Wow. You know, we, we've seen those, those kind of faces before. But anyway, let's, 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 let's roll this right here. See if we can roll this. I know it's kind of heart-wrenching. There's a, there's a, there's, there's, there's a meaning, what the guy said. He said there's a meaning in this somewhere. There's a meaning in this somewhere. Um, pray to tell what's the meaning in it. Okay, while well that's, while well that's, uh, that's still, let's see, even, even, look, look what's that, 225, right? Can't move from 225. You know, 2025 King of Kings. They can't move from there. You understand? And we can't move from that either. Anyway, let's get back into this right here, because that's stuck right there. I mean, we've seen this. It's, it's, it's almost nauseating. People say, oh, that's so sad. You understand? That's so sad. Uh, you know, like, that's touching. Yeah, it's touching. Yeah, I mean, that car. Yeah, I mean, that car. You know, you know. Oh, oh, oh now. Wow. Well, okay. Yeah, we got that boys here in DVD, too. The, the whole, I mean, the real one. Check, check out our website, www.lojsociety.org. You know? <laughs> okay, this guy. All right, this thing right here is, is, act, is acting up. All right, this thing is acting up. We're going to probably have to come back in and, you know, they, they know the truth is coming out. They don't want Yeah. Well, anyway, that's that's basically that's basically so Bring 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 back Cesar Borgia. Bring back bring back her brother. Just just put him up there. You need to get this DVD, y'all. You know what I'm saying? You know this is how to make a slave in the 21st right. century. And, you know. Oh, I'll let you go. They don't get it. Okay, yeah. I mean, talk about talk about lowered expectations, brothers and sisters. Yeah. All right. All right. So yeah. So make sure you check that out. The 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 sins of boy. Okay. Here we're, we're back over here. So his cunning children. We we'll already show you who his children were, right? They pose. They pose as Jesus and as um, Mary and even little Rodrigo. You understand, little Rodrigo. He posed as um, the Jesus Christ, right? And so they were sinful. Right, there's sinful people posing as the the mother of God and the son of God and the big, uh, you know, the big one and the small. It's crazy, man. Mainly Caesar, Caesare, and Lucrezia. One of the latest releases on the Borgia family, right, is the novel Sins of the House of Borgia by Sarah Bauer. 
the novel takes a look at a young woman, right, serving the beautiful Lucrezia, just like we just saw Maseret. Maseret is serving the beautiful Lucrezia, right? Oh, she's all that beautiful, but Lucrezia, right? And captivated by the seductive, right, the seductive Cesare, right, Cesare, sins of the house of Borgia, right? It tells the story of a young Jewish woman. Now remember the Jews. The Jews, according to Tacitus, are of the race of the Ethiopians, right? So a young Jewish woman who's called Esther, or we have Astia, right? Astia Bamarinia, right? Uh, Sarfati, like, like uh, Sephardic. Sephardi, remember the T becomes a D, and the, and the F is a PH. And the S-A could be S-E, depends on A e or A. Uh, you know how that goes, right? Who is commanded by her father, right, to renounce what? Renounce her Jewish faith, to renounce her heritage. Now, can we say the same thing is going on here? Don't we see, right? Isn't this very interesting? The same thing is going on. So these are sinners. Remember what the Bible says? The Bible says that about the man of sin. Right, that, that that the times don't come when the the man of sin was already in the world because you know the Romans they were already in the world. So, but but at that time they still were Roman gods, and Jesus still then was a black thing. You understand? You have to understand that Jesus at that time was a black thing. So have these renounced? You know, have they renounced their faith? You know, their Ethiopianness. Is this a renouncing on a global level, since you already know that this London Olympics is a Zion theme to it? And you know how Zion connects with the Ark of the Covenant, Kedistin Glamarium. You, 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 you get it? I mean, I, 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 hope, I, hope, I hope you really get it right here. But we're going we're gonna to sum up on this right here. Um, type in for me, when the Blue Letter Bible here comes up, type in for me um, in the search. Now we know Zephaniah 2 and 12. Write that down, right? I want you to type in for me, uh, man of sin, right? Man of sin. Now, we already know the Borgia family. That's Pope Alexander VI, circa 1500, right? He had some cunning children. They were so cunning that they were able to replace, right? They were able to replace the true black Jewish images of Christ. This is how cunning, how awfully cunning they were. And once again, we got to show you this dude right here. You understand? Remember, he was he was seductive, right? So, so this story the story is very very interesting. But now we see an actual, right? Where is it? Right here. Okay, the seventeen down here. Let's go. Let's go down. Okay, right here it says. Um, Okay, it says, let no man, this is Second Thessalonians, bring it up a little more. Let no man deceive, there we go. Let no man deceive you by what? Any means. Let no man deceive you by any means. Some say, okay, it don't really matter what color it is. Let no man deceive you by any means. You understand? Well, you know, she's, no, let no man deceive you. Is that touching? She won the race. She got the go Let no man deceive you. Ethiopia should feel pro Let no man deceive you by any means. Right? And th I know these electronic gadgets and toys are fun, but let no man deceive you by any means. For that day, what it says, that day, you know some of the day of the Lord, the day of judgment. You know, we're living some times right now where the day of judgment, the day of the Lord is, is only a day, maybe not even that long away. That that day shall not come except, right, unless there come a what falling away, a falling away from, from what? A fall, that's apostasy, right? That word right there is apostasy. What is apostasy? Um, click on the, the subscription right here, apostasy. Let's just let you check out this word for yourself, right? Let, let's check out this word for yourself. You see what that says right here? Apostasia. Apostasia. Right? Feminine. Apostasia. Right? 
right? It says, what a falling away, a falling down. She almost broke her neck trying to pull out that picture. A what a defection, right? A defection for what? We've been showing you the Kedithan Glamadium, the true black Madonna, Ethiopic, ancient images that are older than the, the 15th, the end of the 15th, the beginning of the 16th century. Scroll down a little bit more, right? It says to forsake, an authorized AV version to forsake. Have Ethiopians forsaken something? Have modern careless Ethiopians forsaken something? Um, scroll up a little bit more. Now this is, uh, this is, yeah, that, that, there we go, right? Okay, pause right here, right? Apostasia, apostasia, right? Apostasia, right? A falling away, a defection. You know, like if you defect from an army, if you defect from a cause, if you defect from the true faith, apostasy. And see, the true faith in the image is very much connected. You know, that's why Pope Alexander the Sixth's cunning children pose. You know, what I'm let's get let, let's get Cesare right here. That is Cesare. Remember the story of the Jewish. Remember the Jewish, the Ethiopian Hebrew, Beta Israel, the Jewish woman who whose father, her father told her what to renounce her Jewish faith, her true faith, right? Because this this cunning. Right, this cunning, <laughs> I like to say some cunning other stuff, but, you know, want to keep this um, G-rated, as they say, right? Right? Um, yeah, right there. Yeah. Yeah, he's bright, right? He's very bright. He transformed himself very bright. All right. Okay, take that down. Take that down. Let's just get through this right here. So in the Bible, right, in the Bible from true religion, Right, it's from what? What is there right there? True religion. True religion. See, we have an account of Ethiopia's true religion. There's testimonies in every nation of Ethiopia's true religion. And they're true images of Kedistan Glomarium and they're true images of Getachin and Yesus Christos or the true images of Mary and Jesus or Yeshua. Acts talks about it. Thessalonians talks about it, right? And there you get a basic a basic overs right there. So when it says falling away, make sure you understand what it means by falling away. So let's get through this verse right here so we can just link this, wrap this around. So it says, let no man deceive you by what any means, by any means. It says, by any means necessary, by, it, by no means don't let anybody deceive you, for that day shall not come. So before the day of the Lord, and this is 2012, can come, right? That there must first be a what? Except there come a falling away first. So first will be the falling away. And that what? Man of sin. Who is that man of sin? Bring, bring that boy up again. Bring that man of sin. Here we go. And here's Cesare Borgia Caesar. But they said, we have no king, right? They have no king but Caesar. Remember that? Remember, you remember that falling away? You know what I'm saying? Of our ancient people? That man of sin be revealed, right? And it says right here, that man of sin be revealed, be revealed. The son of what? We could say some other stuff, right? The son of perdition. So, see, this is why, not just on our channel, but other channels and and even some of the, the white scholars are beginning to get into it because they're seeing all the evidence, you know, all the heavy, heavy evidence, you know, we're saying that, that exists. You know, we're saying there's a lot of heavy, heavy evidence. So this is that verse right there that we want to point you to. This is why this, this whole thing with, with um, this, uh, oh, wow. You see what I'm saying? This is why I said we pray for her. You know what I'm saying? Because she's, she's, she's been taught that. You know, who, who did Christ regard as being most responsible? Was it just the Jewish people who didn't know Torah? You know what I'm saying? Or was it the, the, the leaders of religion? You understand? Was it their leaders? You know what I'm saying? They've been led to do this. They, they believe that they're sincerely doing the right thing. 
You know what I'm saying? So we might feel harsh on her, but let's let's go to the root. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to the root. I mean, really, does she look happy? I mean, come on, come on, let's be for real. I mean, if you didn't know, would you think that she just won something? I mean, come on, I mean, let's be honest. You know, I mean, I mean, let's really, really be honest. Not making no fun of a name, whatever, even though, it's, you know, all of that is is a sign for those who have eyes to see and ears to hear. You over? She don't look happy. Right? It's like somebody put up to this. You know? She she almost reminds me of a, a Esther Safarti. We call her Esther Safarti. She's a she's Esther Safarti in the house of Borgia. See that image right there? Lucretia. Lucretia and Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Lucretia and Rodrigo. All right. <laughs> I mean, I mean, really, does she look happy? Does she look happy? That's all I'm asking you. Does she really look happy? You're going to say, yeah, because, you know, she won the Olympics or she won the race, the 5,000 um, millimeter or whatever like that. She won the long distance, rah, rah, rah. You know, so you're going to say, oh, she got the gold. She make you feel proud. That's, that's what you feel proud of? Really? I mean, a race every couple of years? Gold medal, maybe? Silver? Bronze? Huh? Well, you could run. That's for sure. Yeah, but, but but really, what are you running away from? She doesn't seem happy. I, I, don't, I don't know about you. She really don't seem happy. You say it's a religious thing. All right. We, we, we showed you how, you know, we, we, we just showed you how religious this is. You know, we just showed you how religious this is. You see who this is? Right? And then look over here. You can see that this is her. Lucretia Borgia. Just another white woman, but she happens to be a white woman, a daughter, in the sense of a very powerful and wickedly evil Gentile man. And that's the Pope. Pope Alexander the Sixth. Six, six, six. Right? Six, six, six. You understand? But what's really sick, if you really know your history, the Ethiopian history, you understand, of the chaos that they caused in Ethiopia, in a sense, that is still being caused this very day. And let's just bring this up as well before we close out of this. You know, um, let's bring up that other page about the book review. And just show you all again, some of you all might just have come in just now, right? This book review right here, this is so very interesting. Let's just go over this right here, that, right? This focus on Pope Alexander the Sixth, right? And his cunning children. We just show you the children. The daughter poses as Mary. The, the grandson poses as um, um, baby Jesus. And, 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 and his son poses as um, the man of sin, or he poses as, as, as Christ, or in place instead of Christ, right? Right? Mainly... Cesare and Lucrezia, right? And so now it goes on to talk about how this novel, it takes a look at what a young woman that was serving, she was a servant, maybe she was a maid. You, you know what I'm talking about? A maid? Yeah, maybe she was a maid, Garret or something like that, right? She was serving who? She was serving the beautiful Lucrezia. But it's interesting, the word serving is, um, you know, they talk about uh, liturgy, Liturgy, liturgia, means service, right? You know, like um, dulia, you know, these kind of technical terms for service and everything, but it means serving. So she was serving the beautiful, uh, that's questionable, they just put that in quotes, the beautiful Lucrezia. And she was captivated by the seductive through Cesare. Bring, bring Cesare one more time to Cesare. You're starring this. You're the man of sin. You're a star. You're a star now, and your star is being exposed. Your star is being exposed. There, there, there he goes. What was his name? My name is Cesare Borgia. Borgia. But you see it, and you think Jesus Christ. And little do you know 
that, here we go, these guys are one and the same. Right? These guys are one and the same. Right? These one and the same. Yes, we did it. That's right. All right. So we end this up right here. So it's the sins. Remember, man of what? The Bible tell you man of what? Man of sin. Right? Man of sin. Not man of holiness. You understand? Know and they would have the audacity, the defar. They would have the audacity to pose themselves as Mary and Jesus, and even the little uh, her illegitimate bastard boy and everything posed as Jesus Christ. Can you imagine that? And he said, don't talk about it. Oh, that was well, such a... Uh, shut up. The truth shall set you free. It tells the story of a young Jewish woman. Remember what Pastor says, that the Jews, Pastor, the Roman historian, we could go and... The machine wasn't so slow, we'll go and scroll that, and you'll find the statement of Tacitus, Cornelius Tacitus, circa 70 A.D., said that the Jews, remember they just they just, a Tisha B'Av just happened, you understand? They just destroyed Jerusalem, they killed many of the Hebrews, they killed many of the Jews, they, they, they sent many into captivity, you understand? Many had fled, right? So he said that the Jews were of the Ethiopian Prolem, which means of the seed of the Ethiopians, of the race of the Ethiopians. So here we have a young Jewish woman. So when we understand this in proper context, we have an Ethiopian Hebrew or a black Jew, right? A black Jewish woman, right, who is all captivated by Caesar Borgias, who would later on become the same image that still captivates, you know, a silly woman, you know, in, in the churches and stuff like that, worshiping Baal. You know, there's a young Jewish woman. Her name is Esther, Aspir. What, what's the last name? Sephardi, which is a, a coded way of saying Sephardi. You know, the Sephardi Jews are the, we say the blacker Jews. You understand the black, or today we would say more like Hispanic, you know, kind of black, kind of white, you know, but they have that black blood, you know, the, the, the granny, the black granny in the closet sort of a thing, yeah. So Esther Sephardi, who is commanded by her father, right? Now, you know, father can be also considered to be the, the church father, the Buna, in their churches. You, you understand? In their apostate churches. To renounce what? To renounce her Jewish faith. That means her true Ethiopian faith. All right, so it, you're getting the basics here, right? And there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of Borgia stuff here. If you want to see it, they talk about greed, the seven sins of the Borgia, tainted love, right, the reckoning, you know, I mean, is that the God you serve, you understand? Okay, so we're going we're gonna to bring this out, bring this out, let's, let's rewind this right here and show the people how we got into this, so in case they want to look this up for themselves, you understand? I mean, this kind of tells you so bluntly and bold and we, we we didn't even search deeply you understand that it, you know they're telling you all this right here here we go Lucrezia Borgia Borgia presumably presumably with her son Rodrigo as pose and you see who's behind her see who's behind her with the triple crown it's her father the Pope here she is posing that might be that might be um the older Cesare right there. Who knows? Maybe he's playing Moses now. You, you know, Machiavelli. Oh, Machiavelli's a part of this. That's that's the young one. See, they even showing you how they painted the pictures. You know, that's that's the image they use for like God the Father and all that. So he is posing as what? Machiavelli's posing as You know, he posing. If you if you know about it, here we go. You see what I'm saying? Here we go. Look at this. Look at this. So we was lying about that? No, no, no. See, there you go right there. You got a little bit of battery power left. Look. There you go right there. Look. Look at that. Look, 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 look. look at these guys. You understand? You see it right here? I think we was lying about it. You understand? Are you happy now that you forsook your own true ancient image and testimony? O oh, ye careless Ethiopians, my lost sheep. Chan. Anyway. There we go. 
You know what I'm saying? There we go. You know, that, that's Cesare and his sister right there. You know, and she fall down and she kissed him. And there, there, there she goes right there again. You know what I'm saying? You see it. Just, just look this up right here for yourself. And then you'll be able to figure out what's going on. Hopefully you do before it's too late. Shalom. Rastafari.